Hi, here is Eugenie Stasenko. Today I'm going to speak about origins of modern art again, and especially about Marcel Duchamp. Around uh, the turn of the 19th and 20th centuries, because of the conditions mentioned uh, earlier, art began to define its value by its own rules. This uh, marked the beginning uh, of uh, processes uh, which gave shape to art of our days. Big impact on the Western art uh, made the invention of photography and uh, discovery of Japanese and uh, African art. For uh, painting, one of the most uh, important points in this influence uh, was shifting the focus from uh, copying real objects to using the expressive means of uh, painting by itself as creative tools. The great educator Arthur Wesley Dow taught that rather than copying nature, artists should create art through such elements as uh, line, mass, and color. From this approach, at the beginning of the uh, 20th century, emerged the vast diversity of different art movements. Fauvism, Cubism, Futurism, Abstractionism, Suprematism, Expressionism, Surrealism appeared as a result of exploring limits of art. It was like unlocking Pandora's box. No one could predict the outcome when line, mass, and color combined with artistic freedom broke close. However, the key discovery was yet to appear. Each artist tried to find out his own approach in a search uh, of a completely new art and new aesthetics. But uh, farthest step was taken by Dadaism, the artistic movement of the European avant-garde, which arose as a reaction to the First World War. The Dada movement consisted of artists who rejected uh, the logic, reason, and aestheticism of a modern capitalist society, instead expressing absurdity, irrationality, and anti-bourgeois protest in their work. One of the Dada artists, uh, Marcel Duchamp, coined the term anti-art to refer to art works but challenge conventional definitions of art. He criticized other artists' work uh, as purely aesthetic, as intended uh, only to please the eye. Instead, he wanted art to serve the mind. Marcel Duchamp himself invented uh, a completely new type of art object, the ready-made. Ready-mates uh, were uh, ordinary objects from everyday life that Duchamp selected and presented as art. The most famous among Duchamp's ready-mates is a fountain, a urinal, signed uh, with a pseudonym R. Matt. He said, my idea was to choose an object uh, that wouldn't attract me, either by its beauty or by its ugliness. To find a point of indifference in my looking at it. The idea behind ready-mades was to question the very concept of art. Duchamp was not in search of a new aesthetics for new art. He just excluded aesthetics. 
he excluded uh, artists' creative act to, in order to convert art into anti-art. Marcel Duchamp uh, made uh, a turn from the question of form to the question of function. This changed the very nature of art. According to Duchamp, an artist should focus on the definition of art as a whole instead of looking for new forms. The shift in focus from appearance to concept was beginning of conceptual art and contemporary art. Dada and especially Duchamp's work is not only a starting point for conceptual art, but prelude to postmodernism. The Duchamp's idea that the creative act is not uh, accomplished alone by the artist, but by our observer who is a reading and interpreting it is the core of conceptual art now. In fact, uh, all art after Duchamp can be considered uh, conceptual if uh, the worth of each artist's uh, contribution is measured against what new he added to existing concept of art. Ironically, aesthetics was not completely banished from art. Duchamp said once, when I discovered the ready-mades, I sought to discourage aesthetics. In Neodada, they have taken my ready-mades and found aesthetic beauty in them. I threw the bottle rack and the urinal into their faces as a challenge. And uh, now they, I admire them for their aesthetic beauty. Uh, being a form of self-consciousness in art, aesthetics functions as uh, philosophy of art and uh, critical reflection on art and culture. Therefore, when following Duchamp, we focus on the art as a whole, we inevitably step into the field of aesthetics. To summarize, uh, it must be noted that anti-art did not destroy art, as one might expect. It simply changed uh, perspective and became one of the tools to create art. So I'll finish off for now. Uh, hope to see you again. Subscribe, watch videos, give likes, rate comments. Have a good time.